Pulpamex.com. Tell them you listen to Pulpamex, and they will dial you in. Uh, uh, Vertex Pistons, please, and proud to bring you our next guest on the show. Uh, first time coming on the Pulpamex show. Looking forward to talking to this guy uh, from Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna. It's Jalik Swole. What's up, man? How are you? What's up? How's it going? We're good, man. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh, or thanks for calling, I should say. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, so big switch for you. And I'm not happy with it, Jalik. I'm not pumped. <laughs> you you left Red Dog, and I don't know why, but you went over to Baker's Factory. Talk about that decision. Nah, I mean, I, I love Red Dog. Uh, you know, him and him and Evie are like family to me and right. uh, always will be. So, um, yeah, it was it was just uh, – just the team's direction and um you know i was just I, i'm gonna do whatever you know they they think is uh right for me and um you know i mean i i, I like it i've been here and yep. doing you know like the the whole boot camp deal for mm-hmm. uh a few weeks now since i've been back from my shoulder and stuff like that and um yeah man it, it's great and i you know i feel like um better and better every right. day and stuff like that and, and like the group around here is just uh it's a good group to you know base your speed off of and that kind of stuff and sure. just learn you know what i mean i mean even i know we're not in the same group and stuff like that you know you got your whole alden side and then mm-hmm. uh you know the brownie and uh seth rarick side but um yeah i mean just after uh training and stuff like that you can just sit on the side of the track and and just kind of observe from like you know the big dogs of the sport and what you know they got going on so i mean it's cool to see like it's just a it's just a change of scenery you know what i mean so um yeah i've just been excited and you know the fresh start and right it's i've been obviously motivated since the you know end of the season so everything's been going right it's uh it's intense right i mean that's again I love Red Dog, <laughs> but 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 the, the when you're doing these motos against all the other guys, it's it brings it up, right? It brings up a little bit of a level. Oh yeah, for yep. sure. Yeah, I mean the intensity is is kind of what I felt like was just not my strong suit in uh-huh. in terms of last season. Like I felt like um, like I like I was kind of just in in my groove. You know what I mean? Like not really uh, hanging it out there as much and and riding around with these guys like. It'll, it'll bring it out of you you know what i mean and in a practice setting and, yep. and that's not something that is easy to replicate you know what i mean so no, for sure um so you got to live <clears throat> you got to live out there you got to get an apartment and everything out in in claremont i guess right that's kind of a new home yep. base for you um yeah. yeah i got an apartment down here in claremont and uh i mean it, it isn't mandatory or anything like that but it just makes it easier yeah. when everybody has to do road bike rides together and all that kind of stuff so. sure it's just I, uh, one of those things. God, leaving Red Dog though, leaving the, the champion like Timmy. God, that had to have been tough. Uh, yeah, it was. I, you know, it was. It wasn't easy. I'll right. say that. And and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss him and stuff like that. But you never you never know what goes down the road. You know what I mean? No, I, I sure. could end up back there and stuff like that, which which is something obviously I'm open to because you know at the end of the day that those I I kind of look at those uh, people over there as. Uh, you know, like my yeah. family now, you know what I mean? I, I I went over there when I was like, I want to say 13 or 14, and, you know, I'm 19 now, and I just yeah. left. So, uh, yeah, those, those, those people are family, and, and Abby actually helped me get into the apartment I'm in now. So, oh, obviously, nice. we're so nice. close and stuff like that, and I always go over there and check up on them and stuff like that and all my uh, old – training partners and stuff let me guess red dog never once talked about his own racing with you probably never once uh no no not really i mean every now and then he'll talk a little shit to me about it you know what I mean? right. and, and this is actually and stuff like that but uh i mean obviously if you're in the sport you, you know what red dog has done you know what i mean so there, there hasn't been much need of it but you know uh when I do get, you know, a boosted head or whatever after a good day, I would always talk some shit and it would, it would bring out those kind of, right. those kind of he, deals, you know? Most of these guys, it's funny because most of the ex-pro guys can tell you all about their – Timmy is just clueless about his own career. Tim, <laughs> he'll text me and be like, hey, did I win high point? I'll be like, yeah, you won it or not. You know, like he's just – Dude, he's just he's it's incredible. He's like he's like Rain Man with his own career. I, I it's it's phenomenal. But he's a super smart guy, you know, but but yeah, sometimes he just doesn't I don't know. Sometimes I'm like Timmy, like you were a bad dude. You should you should give yourself more credit. But <laughs> so. Oh yeah, he's one of he's one of those people that you're you're only going to get 
what you get out of them. Like, like yeah. as far as you go, you know what I mean? Like, even training, like, I felt like um, maybe the first two or three years of being there, like, I still was kind of shy and, like, yeah, yeah. Y- um, just, y- you know what I mean, just kind of staying in my own lane, observing and in silence type of thing, you know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, I'd have talks with Evie and stuff like that, and, and one of the biggest things was, like, asking questions you right, know what I mean right, like right. to me that was super new because any trainer you know what I mean like the, they want to bombard you with a bunch of whatever they think is, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. and so like with Ferry it was different because going there it was like it was one of those things where I come off the track I cool off and all that kind of stuff but then I would have to ask you you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah, kind yeah. of like pick his brain whenever I could stuff like that and uh yeah. And once you uh, really start to ask questions, you'll you'll understand why people, you know, mm-hmm. say he's such a smart guy. It's just one of those things where you just have to get it out of him. So do you work with Brownie or Rarick, or is it kind of a combination of both guys? Combination of yep. both, and um, Alden oversees the yep. whole ordeal, and, you know, we'll Dude, Brown, come by and Brown's an animal. watch around and stuff. Brownie's oh, an, he's an animal. Yeah, I, I love Brown. I love Brown. God, I can't even. I can't even. Yeah, he's just. Yeah, he's an animal. So, hey, how does he doesn't talk much either? No, no, he's no, either. no. How's uh? Look, I'm Canadian. So how's Pettis mm-hmm. looking? How are we looking? How how's Pettis? Um, is he... Pettis is he's he's looking really good actually. Okay, uh, Sweet. I'd say I'd say our whole our whole group is is actually starting to like click. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Pettis is, Pettis is looking good. He should, he should have a good, um, season this year. He's, right. he's doing a I'm pretty sure. So you guys will see him before you see the rest of us. But, um, Oh, you're doing, yeah, are you he, doing West? Are we doing? Are yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Oh, we're really mm-hmm. starting to figure it out here. We, we were trying I was, to, I was about to ask that question. <laughs> yeah. We were yeah. trying well, to, f- but, but, but you, you don't, you still, you still don't really know. That's what I've been told, but right, you know, right. I, I could, I could really start to, look good here in the next few days or whatever yeah, yeah, and yeah, it no, might change no, you're maybe, right so no, um no, but hey for you for since turning pro jaleek it's there's been some ups some downs uh i don't know if you've totally reached all the goals that you had set out for yourself to do uh kind of take us through a little bit of your i mean you've been hurt too as well you've had a couple injuries mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. like how where are we at with with yourself as as a turning pro like are you what what uh, how do you feel what do you want to work on how's it has it been up and down for you uh yeah it has been up and down but it, it's one of the, like i i knew it was gonna be hard you know what i mean right. it's not yep. it's not easy everybody out here is fast everybody has age and experience and all that kind of stuff but um yeah i mean right now in terms of like what i've done accolades whatever i, I haven't done really anything that i've set out to do right now uh like i, I feel like i'm just kind of scratching the door right now and um you know like a year like I've had, like honestly, um, camp I missed the main event, which obviously, you know, no factory bike shouldn't be in the main, you know what I mean? But um, riding, even like riding wise then, like I didn't feel bad or anything. I just feel like maybe like a bit of nerves or whatever the case may be. And then, you know, I had messed up my bars pretty bad when I crashed in the heat. So I had to line up all the way at the end on the LCQ and stuff like that. And then that happened and, um after that i just put my head down dude I, I i worked and me and red dog were really really at it you know what i mean and then i think you really started to see it towards the solid grounds like i was starting to click off like top fives or you know what i mean like sixes and all that kind of stuff and consistent with it you know uh-huh. and uh, i started to come around but uh one of the last solid grounds I actually popped my shoulder out and I kind of just raced, didn't really say much about it, just mm-hmm. kind of raced. And, you know, I, I wanted to get through the Supercross round, which I, or the Supercross series, which I did and ended up, I think, sixth or whatever. But right. obviously, it on on paper, it sounds decent for a rookie, you know what I mean? But it's still not what I'm looking for, you know? And um, I don't think anybody's going to achieve what they want to achieve unless they have that kind of mentality, you know? So, sure, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've just been head down, just looking forward to the future. And then when it comes down to outdoors, I, I don't even think I really, I don't want to make a, an excuse. Like it was a, it was a shitty season for me on outdoors, but, mm-hmm. 
I, I just I dealt with the shoulder the whole time from Salt Lake, and and I don't I don't know if it was just you know how manly you had to be on those kind of tracks and stuff, but I, I just I have way more problems with my shoulder out there than than I did in Supercross, and then it just got to the point where it was so bad it was like. I, I couldn't even keep it in for like a whole moto, you yeah, know? So yeah. that's why you see like even WW, I mean, I came out and I was running top 10 and, and it was, it was fine. It wasn't like the speed was crazy to me. You know what right, I mean? Like right. I, I was perfectly fine where I was. And then the next thing you know, like 25 minute mark and then I'm all the way back in like 19th, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it's more frustrating than it is like messing up my confidence. Like I, I know what I'm capable of doing. Right. And then, I mean, I beat, like, a lot of these top guys and amateurs, you know what I mean? So sure. it's not it's not anything new. It's just one of those things where you have to put the piece of the puzzle together and then um, being healthy and getting a good off season right now and just a little bit of more time to figure out the whoops and stuff like that. And I feel like uh, we'll be in for a really good year two for me. Yeah, I like, you know, switching it up. I mean, obviously, look, I'm giving you shit for, for, leaving, for leaving Red Dog's place. I, I get it. But switching it up, I think, is a good thing. Like, uh, exposing yourself to new riders, a new training technique, uh, all that kind of stuff uh, will help. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's, it's a yeah, good thing to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, not for sure. The fresh start The fresh start was um, something that, you know, obviously it's hard to tell yourself when, when you're like – happy with where you're at you know what i mean like there's, right. there's nothing about red dogs that is bad and there's a reason why i left or anything you know what i mean mm -hmm. but um it's just one of those things that needed to happen i just needed more um j just more talent around me somebody to like kick my ass every week you know what i mean or every day like it, it's sometimes it's needed you know what i mean and um at red dogs it's just everybody's so booked you know what i mean Re regardless of you know, like mm -hmm. stars and Cali and KTM and Rockstar Husky or with Alden, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you're not really going to find a training partner unless you go somewhere that has people already. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was hard to find somebody else to come and, and push me and stuff like that. And it's just, that's one of those things that we struggle with. And, and I just felt like I needed, you know, those kinds of guys around me, like, just just being around an Osborne or a Wilson or anything like like you know what I mean. You can just learn so much. So yep, um, I think it was much needed. But I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it, I mean, it still does suck leaving you know family and stuff like that. But I think it was for the uh, you know the better. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jalik, this is Paul. Um, obviously, I'm 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 close with Dino. Uh, he's mm -hmm. switched over there with you too. And and one mm -hmm. of his comments are, um. The biggest thing is that your guys' tracks break down a lot because there's so many of you riding it and they get rough. Like, so what's that? Mm -hmm. Is that a big difference for you too, leaving Reds and now going there? Is that something you know that you're noticing? Yeah, well? yeah, it is. The mm -hmm. tracks are, um, you know, they, they start out good like any other track, and then, then it gets really beat up. And honestly, it, um, the track that we rode today honestly felt like rougher than any of the main events I did last year. So, or well, beginning of this year. Yeah. So like, it, it's it's really good when it comes down to training for me. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the biggest thing for me was um, just the track would be perp. Like when the track was good early on, like I would be really good, and then I'd start to kind of like find those struggles late in the mains or whatever when the track really started to get beat up. Mm -hmm. And um, just being able to work on that kind of stuff on like a practice day is going to make the difference. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the whoops and the ruts, like cutting down and just like choosing all these different lines in one corner and stuff like that. Like it's, it's really good practice and it sounds a little, but on a super cross track, there's not like, you can't really find much uh, like of a rough super cross track unless you're at, you know, a public yeah. place, but still public places don't really get as beat up as, you know, what we're, riding on right now yeah that's that's a good point uh dean and dean isn't with alden right dean is with these guys Dean's with jaleek and, right yeah and yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah dean me brown and uh rare aaron styles and pettis yeah uh yeah it should be uh should be a great uh team um when you talk about 
working with Zacho and Jason and Dean, RJ, uh, Styles. I forgot about Styles too. Styles, yeah. Um, that's a nice team, Jalik. Like you guys <clears throat> probably keep it light around there. Every time I'm a, I've ever been around there, it's a light atmosphere. Uh, talk about that a little bit. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, me and me and Dean have started getting closer over the few, you know, uh, maybe months I'd say, and uh, just me me and him are really like. Uh, kind of like the jokesters of the group, you know what I mean? So, uh, obviously, just adding in me and Dean, it's, it's going to be a, a, like a breath of fresh air when yeah. it comes down to the people that are, you know, work, 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 work every day, you know what I mean? Like, me yep. and Dean, uh, like, we keep it fun, and, and, and we work better that way, you know what I mean? And I think it um, I think it helps the whole group, to be honest with you. And I think with, uh, like, guys like Pettis and – styles and stuff like that like um just being being around and then getting to see you know like it, it doesn't have to be so serious is, is a right. good thing for right. everyone you know what i mean and i feel like i've always been that way even with amateurs everybody was always uptight and i was <laughs> the only kid out there that was like we're, we're racing dirt bikes like you know yeah, what I mean? yeah yeah and um yeah it's just how i've always been but people don't really see that because if you ask anybody who doesn't really know me, they'll just tell you that um, I don't talk and I'm I just stare at people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I think you are shy and quiet a little bit. From I've I haven't been around you a ton, but oh you know yeah, what I mean? for yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm not going to go up to any random people and right. talk, which is which is just a part of like the background and the way I grew up and stuff like that. And and I think people just take it a lot of the wrong way. Like I always hear about like. Like, I'll meet somebody and they'll be like, oh, man, I, I thought you used to hate me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even know you. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's one of those things. And, like, I mean, I, I get it because I do have, like, a, a, a resting bitch face is what they call it. <laughs> but, like, and and I don't talk and you mix in all the features and stuff. And, and, even, and even some people will think I just – I'm like a cool guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not, and it's not the case. And I mean, it, I am shy and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like more so recently, I have been getting out there. And then even Ev, Evie was always on me about talking and and figuring out that whole deal. So, yeah. And that was one of the reasons why I reached out to you on Instagram is because I just randomly, like, she had texted me or something like that, and. uh just randomly thought about her telling me that uh, yeah. I need to get on the show a while back and stuff like that. So I figured it'd be a cool little time to uh, no, it is, jump on here. It's part of the game for sure, Jalik. You know what I mean? Like it's not all yeah. results. It's, it's, it's with well, Dean. I mean, Dean is a master of this. I mean, obviously Dean's a national champion, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not belittling mm-hmm. that, but Dean has gotten a lot of stuff from just being social, being, uh, you know, putting it himself out there. I think he's got a yeah. huge following and that's somebody that you can look to for that kind of stuff for sure. You know what I mean? So yeah, oh, yeah. it's a part of it. Unfortunately, it's not all results. Right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I would, I mean, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I yep. understand that everybody wants to be, um, you know, whether it be sponsors or whatever, want to be noticed, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I understand on, on that aspect of it, but I do, I do kind of wish results were more of the focus. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, I get it. And I have been trying to get better at it and stuff like that. But when it like, I don't know, I had, I had a pretty eventful upbringing and stuff like that. So it's just, it's one of those things that is a lot harder mm-hmm. for me than it would be, you know what I mean? Just the yeah. average moto kid coming up, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't so. be Jet Lawrence if you're, you know what I mean? It's not, it's fake. If yeah. you're, if you're, it's fake if you're somebody like that and you're not that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, no, I get it for sure. Uh, Vertex Pistons bringing you Jalik Swole on the uh, Pulp Mech Show. Pro Taper Zone. Jalik Swole on the show tonight. Uh, sales at PivotWorks.com to save from those guys. So, hey, man, uh, Evan Ferry, uh, he is – dude, he's pretty good now. He got really good. <laughs> like Pretty good now, huh? Yeah, like, like I don't know. Like, I just still think of Evan as, like, this kid on 60s, right? Like, I, you know, just because I'm old and – dude – He's way, way legit, uh, and you probably had a hand in that, Jalik, working with him and uh, riding with him a little bit, right? Yeah, he's still he's still super trash to me, though, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I like to hear that. That's good. Super trash. Yeah, I like that. I'm sure I'm sure he'll tune in and and hear about it, but it's all right. He doesn't have he can't 
say anything about it now, so he sucks. Well, I, I make sure that he knows that, like, I, I <laughs> you know, to me, to me, the kid focuses too much on whips and super costs. I want to yeah, see, exactly. you know, nobody wants to see that. He's just a two-stroke kid. Anymore, you know he's just, I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just, <laughs> It'll burn out soon, you know. He's just, oh. just a two-stroke guy. Wow, well, you yeah. know, his his dad was such a super cross expert and such a great, like, you know, <laughs> so good at tricks and everything. So, you know, I see where he gets it from. Yeah, I think the the I don't think I've ever seen any old clips of Red Dog throwing any whips or anything. So it's kind of weird that no. Red Dog turned out like that. Uh, I was his mechanic one year. He tried to do a can can in St. Louis in practice. Caught his foot, ate shit, and broke his thumb. <laughs> so yeah, great, great work, great freestyle career, Red Dog. Yeah, great, great, great job in front of an empty stadium. You're doing can cans, great. Uh, so yeah, that that's where his freestyle career I think started and ended right there. Um, well, hey man, uh, thanks for calling in tonight. Really appreciate it. Good luck with God Brownie. Good luck with Brownie and Rare. Just working you, just working you. So uh, uh, yeah, don't worry, we're. Uh... We're we're enjoying every minute of it. So. Good. Oh, but, but before I leave on the time, yeah, no, no, no. Um, on a serious note, yeah, Little Red has picked it up. Yeah, actually, really excited for him. He'll be, uh, we'll be we'll be seeing him around here in the next yeah. few years or whatever. And um, yeah, I mean, I he's been killing it, and um, you know, he, with his age group and stuff like that, I think yeah. um, I think we'll be seeing him win a lot more, but. Not 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 when he makes the big jump, you know. I, I can't let that happen. No, but. do not let that happen, please don't. No, no, we, we it'll, need to, it'll, it'll, ne- it'll never happen. Need little, to stop that in his tracks. Be under me. He'll yeah. be under me until I retire. <laughs> nice, I like that. I like that. <laughs> well, uh, good luck with everything, man. Thank you for reaching yeah. out. Let's get you back on uh, sometime in the Supercross season, and uh, uh, good, good luck with everything, man. Oh yeah, just hit me up. I'll, I'm free whenever. All right, sounds good, Julie. Thanks, man. All right, cool. Thank All you. Right, thank you. That's Jalik Swole on the Pulp MX Show brought to you by VertexPistons.com. Never spoken to Jalik really before, so it's good to have one. I haven't really either. Yeah, yeah.